Well then guys, welcome back. Gonna do a van tour now. Okay guys, do a quick walk around. Pretty uh sort of stealthy. You've got the chrome bars on the roof and then you've also got solar panels and then got a reverse camera at the bottom on the back and then we move to the inside right so inside you've got a cab curtain here which is on I just need that to show you it's on a track you've got the same that side as well so you can do that up um, it's got Saab 95 seats fitted then we have so we've got a drawer here which is just used for cutlery or whatever then we've got smev unit this is a um double ring burner and it's also got working water as well um got a spice rack and some bits and bobs up there so we've got a solar controller here. We've got 200 watt of solar on the roof. And then we've got the switches here to operate everything. So we've got this switch does the two lights here. And then this switch does the back two there. And then what we've also got in the way of lights, if I reach over and get that remote control out of there, is we've got uh, da, 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 da. lights all around the top which you can have on different modes and I mean nobody wants it that sort of bright do they so I put, tend to put it in the night like that which makes it quite cosy to be fair and then obviously we've got a full small double bed which has got a memory foam mattress on very very comfortable and I'm 5 foot 10 and slip across there easily without my feet touching the bottom I've also got the TV there um, I'll be taking the fire stick out but that's a 22 inch cello smart TV. It's got YouTube, Netflix, and all that sort of stuff built into it. Um, so back to the water. Down here we've got two containers. This one is the, let me check. Yeah, this is the fresh water. This one is the waste water. That's obviously strapped up so it doesn't move around. We've got a door here which goes to underneath the bed in case you want to get to the storage or anything under there. We've got in here, got this container which has just got like the kettle and cups and bowls and salt and pepper and whatever else then we've got a Waco CRX 50 fridge which is absolutely fantastic um, we've got a freezer part in the top you can actually remove this freezer part and then just turn it back off and then that can make that whole thing a fridge or you can have it the whole thing as a freezer or whatever you want and then We've got a wine bottle holder here, and obviously the glasses holder there. These curtains obviously close as well. They're on a track. They're on poppers, so you can unpop these if you want them to look a bit more fancy when they're shut. But if I just take the one off and uh, show you, a bit hard with one end. But I work, basically work on that. This is an opening window as well, so you just simply press that down, and then slide that open, and it locks into place as well. So that's that. And then we've also got this seat here, which has plush velvet covering. That can be removed. And then this can be removed. And then on the side, there's a little latch here, which here, there's a latch there, which goes into that, keeps that up. Then inside that is a toilet, unused of course, um, which is a, Porta Potty, Thetford Porta Potty 365. It's the better one because it has the waste indicator on it. And you can just simply lift that out when you want to empty it or whatever. And then in the front here is this because the idea of this is so that you can pull this lever out, which opens the that part in the bottom. So when you push that in, it closes that up. But again, that's unused. Uh, put that back down. That's just held on by Velcro. Um, it's got high gloss walnut floor, um, which is finished off quite nicely. Uh, 
with a bit of skirting board. I am going to put a mat in the middle here just to cover where I took the double seat out. But obviously we've got Saab 95 leather seats in there now, which I can show you from this angle. Bring this up. Got plenty of storage underneath the bed for any bits and bobs. As you can see, I've got quite a lot here. That's the awning, which I'll put up a picture of that. I've got the little barbecue at the back and everything. Batteries are there, so that's um, two two batteries, which are 115 amp hour each. So you've got 230 amp hour battery life. And then over there, you've obviously got the fuse board and the solar controller. And then in here, you've got the gas system, which is a big butane bottle with obviously the drop out vent and it's all been sealed up and everything and then the on and off tap is there so that just lifts up to turn that on and off and the back doors obviously we've got these and it's covered in the same as the roof which is tongue and groove and that's been oiled a little fan here which is really handy for when it's hot it's actually a really good little fan um it's got a switch on the back of it so when you're lying in bed you can put that on and it cools you down etc Front, we've got this sort of Android unit which has got um, loads of different features. You can connect your phone to it wirelessly, mirror film. I think I forgot to mention about outside as well. The van is actually lowered, it's lowered around 50 60 mil, and the um, wheels are BMW alloys. 